How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the option enum in the Rust programming language. So option represents either a value or no value at all. And many methods in Rust return this type and it forces you to deal with the scenarios where sometimes you're not going to get a value returned from a function. So for example, let's define a new variable called name of type string. And this value will be, for example, Dominic. Now Dominic here has seven characters. Therefore, if we want to actually get the character at index eight in this string, it's not going to work. There's only seven characters, therefore index eight does not exist. So right there, there's a problem. We're going to either get a value at index eight or get no value at all. That's why in Rust, getting the character at an index in a string returns an option and not the actual character itself or you know um, alone by itself so let's just go down here and we'll say print line and we're going to try and attempt to get the value at index 8 in this string so we'll say character at index 8 now for this uh, template here we're going to use a match statement or a match operator so we'll say match and then name dot cars now this cars method returns an iterator over all the characters in this string from there we're going to call the nth uh, method which will get the item at an index that you pass in for example in this case it'll be eight now this right here all of this returns an option as i said the options either going to be some, so some value, or none, no value. So we're going to deal with these two cases using the match operator. So inside here, we'll put a curly brace, an end curly brace, a bracket, then a semicolon, just to uh, finish that off. So now, if we get a value at that index, we're going to say some, then a bracket, then C, close that off equals greater than okay so here we have this case here where we actually find the value at index 8 in this string the character itself is stored inside the variable c so now here we can use c so we're going to say c dot to string and we're going to make this print line statement just expect a string so we're going to say c dot to string to convert this character to a string just like that. Now, if we don't find the value at index eight, none. We're going to say this, no character at index eight. Also to string to satisfy the needs of this print line statement. So here we're attempting to get the value at index eight in this string or the character at, in at index eight in this string. If we find it, we're going to get it and just print it out using this sum uh, member here, the sum member of this enum. If we don't find it, none, no character at index eight. Let's save this and run this program. So cargo run. And we see no character at index eight, makes sense. Let's make this instead index one put one inside there save this and then run it we should now see o on the screen and we get o perfect so here one more time the match statement is going to match um the the option returned type right if that option gives us sum so a value found at index eight then do this if there's no value, then do this. As you can see, Rust is forcing us to deal with a situation where we won't actually find a value at that index. Now, we're going to define our own function that will return an option type. So we'll get rid of all this up here and define our own function down here. So we'll say fn get occupation. This function returns, sorry, uh, accepts a single parameter, 
that being a name of a person, it's going to be of type uh, string. Now this function, as I said, will return an option enum. So we're going to return option. Now we're also going to put a open uh, less than sign here and put string inside of there. Now this means we're, sorry, like this, hold on, ampersand in front. So this option here, so we're saying that when we do get a value at this, you know, from this function, it's going to be of type string. So we're saying that this, this, this option enum is going to give us a string if the sum member is returned, if that makes sense. Now, it's going to be quite simple here. We're going to simply just match the name, right? And if the name happens to be Dominic, Dominic is a software developer. So we're going to return sum and then pass software developer into there just like that. So that is how we create a sum. Now we're going to say one more, we'll just say Michael. And we'll say Michael is a dentist, so some dentists. Now if one of these, so if this name isn't Dominic or Michael, we're going to say none. So we're only going to get the occupation or a value, so a, so a sum value, if the name is Dominic or Michael. If it's not, we're going to get none from this option. Up here, we'll do a similar thing with the print line statement. So we'll say print line and then say occupation is occupation is one more template inside here. We're gonna use match once again. We're gonna match get occupation and pass in Dominic. Now, once again, similar thing. We'll say if we get a value at, at this Dominic, so if we if we get a value out of this function, sum. O, so O is going to be the occupation itself of type string, remember? I'm going to just say, yep, give us O. So occupation is O. If we can't find one, or sorry, if we if we can't find the occupation for Dominic, in this case we, we will be, but if we can't, then none's going to be uh, executed or, you know, going to be returned right there. So none, I'm going to say no occupation found. All right, let's save this and try and run it. And we get occupation is software developer. Let's make this name, uh, I don't know, Freddy. Freddy, save this, run it one more time. We should see no occupation found. There we go, perfect. And that's how the option enum works in the Rust programming language. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.